اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم اور وہی تو ہے جس نے تمہارے کان اور آنکھیں اور دل بنائے لیکن تم کم ہی شکر کرتے ہو اور وہی تو ہے جس نے تم کو زمین میں پیدا کیا اور اسی کی طرف تم سب جمع ہو کر جاؤ گے اور وہی ہے جو زندگی بخشتا اور موت دیتا ہے اور رات اور دن کا بدلتے رہنا اسی کا تصرف ہے کیا تم سمجھتے نہیں ان بیہاف آف سی ایس آئی ویلکم یو آل فار دس یونیک اینڈ دا فرسٹ اینول ڈے فنکشن آف الامل ارلی انٹرونشن اسکول فار ینگ ہیئرنگ امپیئرڈ وی ہیو کمپلیٹڈ الحمد للہ ون ایئر سو آئی لائک ٹو اسٹارٹ دس پروگرام ود ریسٹیشن بائی بردر یوسف ہوز گوئنگ ٹو ریسائٹ سورہ فاتحہ الحمد للہ بردر یوسف ٹو انٹروڈیوس بردر یوسف ہی ہم سیلف از اے ہیئرنگ امپیئرڈ چائلڈ ہز اسپیشلٹی ہز اچیومنٹ وی آسٹ ہم ٹو ریسائٹ سورہ فاتحہ ون ویک بیک ہی واز ناٹ نوئنگ سورہ فاتحہ وتھ ریگریس پریکٹس فار ون ویک الحمد للہ ہی لرن ان شاء اللہ از گوئنگ ٹو ریسائٹ سورہ فاتحہ بردر یوسف میں نام ہے I am the one son and my mother and I have two sister I like a chopper I love a cricket now I am going to learn karate I want to So all Jerogo Emperor Prentice that they have to pay budget of a hand as a good for a good good news effort and both of us then I come to assess uh, for the best uh, therapy. Now I am going to search for a path to Palai Manas Satwan Narasab Pachapala Hagarabha Narayam Hal Habantu Lalai Drabbal Halabain Agraba Naram Malaka Sofa Madan Ayaka Napoto Ba Ayaka Nasatayen Hedanas Charatal Bosata Kekab Charatala Jena Han Abeta Halam Karal Makatope
Jazakallah, Brother Yusuf. Alhamdulillah, uh, with our recitations and all, you, Alhamdulillah, you understood how Brother has put efforts in his one mix of uh, training. Alhamdulillah, he's recited very well. And he has just presented about uh, his name and some of the details what you saw on your screens. So we pray Allah that Allah bestow more knowledge on him and he learn mu much more knowledge in Islam and Deen. Jazakallah khair, Brother Yusuf. Okay. Now I invite one more young hearing impaired. His name is Furhan. He's around 13 years of age. Inshallah, he's going to recite Surah Ikhlas. Surah Nasr. No, no, Ikhlas is the name. Yeah, please come. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Furhan Dalha. I am 12 years old. I was born in Hadubat 2001. I have one brother and one sister. My father name is Edith Ahmad. My mother name is Sahina. My brother name is Lukman Budasir and sister name is Mahin. I am studying in seventh standard at Jam School. I am my playing football. I am drawing and painting. My aim is to become an artist. I come to I come to SSCC of peak therapy. I go to Madrasa evening to. Plain Quran. I will read Surah Nas now. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ida jaaratullahi walfad walai tanna shala kudumu fiti abbaca baca bi ambira bi kawata hidu inna hukana tawaba. Dedakallah, please help and support me. Jazakallah khair, Brother Furkhan. Alhamdulillah, he recited and he has just presented about himself. He is an integrated child who can speak. Alhamdulillah, you are able to understand what he has spoken. So, Jazakallah khair, Brother Furkhan. Now, I like to invite uh, introduction to CIS and Alamal by, uh, and its history by Brother Shak Shakir. He is an aeronautical engineer by profession, manager in HAL. He is a president of uh, CIS Welfare Trust. Inshallah, he's going to give an insight about CIS and Alamal. Brother Zak, Shakir. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi wa ahda wa salatu wa salamu ala manna nabiya wa ahda. On behalf of Center for Islamic Studies, CIS, uh, we welcome you all for this annual day, first annual day function of Alamal Early Intervention School. A brief introduction of CIS. Uh, CIS, Center for Islamic Studies, is a non-profit charitable organization under the CIS Welfare Trust. It started as a library in the year 1996, situated at North Road, Cooktown, Bangalore, with aims and objectives of propagation of the authentic teachings of Islam in the light of the Quran and Sunnah. <laughs> and bringing all the Muslims on a common platform as per the understanding of the Quran and Sunnah and the first three generations of Islam. Since then, Alhamdulillah, CIS has been rendering services in the field of Islamic education and spreading the message of Islam to the non-Muslims. We have been conducting a lot of programs on various topics of Islam and printing different Islamic literature, introduction, introductory books on Islam, the translation of the Quran in different languages like Tamil, English, Kannada, and free distribution of this literature to the Muslims and non-Muslims. We have various social and welfare activities also like the sponsoring of 
poor and needy Muslim children in the field of education, the medical aid for the sick and poor people who are not able to afford their medical treatment, and in the month of Ramadan, the distribution of the ration to the poor and needy Muslims who are not able to fast because of their poverty. Apart from this, we have been conducting public lectures by various renowned scholars from India and abroad <coughs> in English and Urdu, and conducting of workshops, Hajj training camp, Islamic summer camps. About five years back, alhamdulillah, a group of deaf uh, brothers visited CIS and made us aware about another important need of the community, that is the <laughs> gaining of Islamic knowledge by these especially needed people of the society the hearing impaired and the deaf people, they made us realize that they are also in need of the spiritual knowledge and Islamic information. So we appointed a full-time brother who was trained in sign language, his brother Zubair, who is interpreting this lecture for you in front. And Every week on Sunday, we started the Islamic uh, lectures in sign language for uh, the benefit of these brothers. In the course of our involvement with the deaf brothers, we happened to meet Brother Arshad, who is an audiologist, and then he made us realize that there are ways by which, inshallah, the deaf can be helped to lead a normal life if the deaf children are diagnosed of their uh, deafness, identified about their hearing impairedness before the age of five years, then these children can be treated, then be given a special type of education and uh, therapy which is called as early intervention. And after making, after getting this information, after we came to know about this information, we felt that, inshallah, we can help the deaf and the hearing impaired people if we make an arrangement of such type of early intervention school in Bangalore. So we visited various schools in and around Bangalore to understand the methodology, and then we visited a school in Chennai called Bala Vidyalaya, which was established in the year 1962. And this school is very successful in giving early intervention education for the deaf children and integrating them into a normal school after a course of five years study in the Bala Vidyalaya. We were surprised to know that many of the alumni or those people who graduated from this school are today well-to-do uh, professionals, software engineers, chartered accountants, and uh, lawyers, journalists all over the world. And alhamdulillah, two years back, we decided to send two of our faculty for getting trained from Bala Vidyalaya for a one-year diploma in uh, teaching the uh, deaf or uh, hearing impaired children. And uh, by the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, last year we started the early intervention school, which we have named as Al Amal in Arabic, which means hope. So, with whatever possible resources we had, we started in a place in RT Nagar, CBI Road, where we have three classrooms of which can accommodate uh, 12 children. And we have two full-time uh, faculty which have been trained by Bala Vidyalaya. And this year, today it is the one-year completion of this early intervention school. And inshallah, we hope to expand 
this school if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps us our uh, future plan is to have a full fledged campus with a residential school for the deaf children which can accommodate more number of children and we are in the process of uh, doing identifying land and contacting the government work department for getting the schemes which are applicable for the deaf and the disabled children and inshallah we are also planning to sponsor another few sisters for this course by which we can absorb them in our future requirement for the school and we inshallah we also have a plan to have a mobile uh, hearing clinic uh, audiometry van by which it will be equipped with all the equipments instruments and testing facilities which can go around all over the places in and around bangalore test the deaf children and we can identify them if they are eligible for the early intervention or hearing aid apart from that we have also distributed a large quantity of hearing aids for the deaf adults and children and uh, inshallah we are planning to expand our school we are in the process of uh, interacting with some international early intervention schools all over the world and try to benefit from their experiences also we pray to allah subhanahu wa taala that he helps uh, us in this endeavor and also we request all the muslim community since it is a conjugal obligation and uh, everybody's support and help is needed for this activity so we request all the people to come and join hands and help and support this jazakallah khair wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Barakallahu feekum. Jazakallah khair, Shakir bhai. Uh, a brief in, insight about uh, CAS and Alamal and his history. Uh, in his busy, busy schedule, last month he had been to US and he went to a school by name Clarks. He got the information there. He sent the information from there, how these people are doing integration. Inshallah, we want to give the international standards and give the best possible uh, education to... Inshallah, now, without taking much time, I'd like to introduce you the founding... St uh, founding st we can say the foundation stones of Alamal. They are the first batch of first alumni of this uh, Alamal Early Intervention School. I'd like to introduce the sizzling stars. We call it Alamal. So these are the batch of five students. So, so it says start with uh, all these five. We have three levels of children in this. So learning time, this is the uh, place where you see in the background with the soundproof room. The children are learning with all teaching aids and the help of the teachers. This is a fun time. We have a place for them to uh, play also in a small place. We have just accommodated them to play some games there. Fun time and learning time. So these children also learn with the fun. When they were playing, they learn with the toys. We make them to learn some verbs, putting, playing, throwing, beating. We have three levels of uh, our students in that. Like to introduce the first level, we have two students by name Lekhana and Umar. Lekhana, she's a she is a daughter of Ravindra and Shashikala, aged around two years. When she came, the parents are normal; they able to talk and hear. She is born to a normal parents. Alhamdulillah, started responding. When she came, she was not having any speech. She doesn't know to pronounce words. She can't recognize words and. Uh, uh, and our, uh, sound, sounds around her. Now she can understand words and simple sentences, can produce words such like mama, papa. Uh, incidentally, uh, we got from her, her mother, uh, Lekhana's mother was so emotional when she heard her mother, uh, Lekhana calling her for the first time mama. So she became so emotional, I'm, I'm hearing first time from my child, she's calling me as mama. So this is the impact uh, early intervention can do. And next is in line is, uh, his name is Umar who's aged around 2.3 years, and he's the son of Abdul Yusuf and Nazia Banu. The, both the parents are hearing impaired. He is born to a hearing impaired child. We call it Soda. Children, children of deaf adult, we call it. This, this, uh, this, he is born to a parents who are hearing impaired. So when, he, when they identified, when they came to us, he was not having any speech. So the parents decided to put them into our school. Alhamdulillah, after a rigorous training of eight to nine months and one year, he able to pronounce words such as hello, he can say, he can say his name. So we have a small video where he can see, he can say his name. Um, uh, uh.
What is your name? Alhamdulillah, you can say he's trying to say his name Umar. So try teach us his two letter words, which he identify himself. Basically, this hearing impaired children doesn't even know their names until unless we have been uh, taught them. So we have the second uh, students of the second level. We have three kids here, Saad, Asfi, and Abdul Khaliq. They are in the second level. Uh, we group them according to their knowledge and their age. Alhamdulillah, well, to introduce with Saad, Saad is a uh, 3.5 years and a son of Syed Ahmed and Khanita Banu. Both the parents are normal. Alhamdulillah, they can speak. Saad, when he admitted, he was not having any speech. He joined six months back. Alhamdulillah, he can able to listen and he can able to, he got a vocabulary of 10 to 15 words. He can speak such as hello, fine, etc. He pronounced words as Ammi, Abu. He can identify the parents, call them by their names. And we smaller video about Saad. Ball. Car. Bottle. Okay, you are able to see the teacher. What is doing is uh, she, she is not giving a visual clue to the Saad and asking her to show the words. So he is able to bend and see the words and he is able to identify the words. Asfia, she is also a uh, good, uh, a lone, lone girl in Asfia. Uh, she is from Sira, daughter of Ashfaq Ahmed and Asma Parveen. She is aged around four years. The, uh, both the parents are normal. They can able to speak and hear. This girl, she has come all the way from Sira. The mother is staying here. And she is able to, her achievement started responding to sounds. She is able to identify. She has got a vocabulary around 30 to 35 words, such as ball and other things. Recognize words, pronounce the same. So we have a small video about her, about her also. Ball. Loudly. Car. Car. Okay, you can see she's trying to say the words. So next, we have uh, Abdul Khalid. He's uh, again a soda child, children of deaf adult. He's aged around four years. The parents' name is Abdul Wajid and Rizwana Banu. Both are hearing impaired. When they brought the child, uh, the mother, uh, I like to point a point in uh, his mother. So dedicated lady, Alhamdulillah. We should give, she, being a hearing impaired, her aim is not, she doesn't want any, her child to be like her. She want her, her, uh, her child to speak, communicate, talk. That's what her dedication. Alhamdulillah, she comes on dot time. And Abdul Khalik has learned 35 to 40 vocabulary in his words. Recognized the words, started responding to sounds. Just have a small video about him also. Ball. Car. Good. Bottle. Flower Pencil Cup Bus Bus Alhamdulillah. See, Khalid is trying to show the words flower. Flower, it's a, like, if you hear, a normal person can understand. For a he hearing impaired, it's a difficult word to understand. Flower, he has to hear, identify, it's a difficult thing. It comes with the practice. Alhamdulillah. The teachers at Alamal, they're doing a pretty good job. You can see the results. Without any visual clues, the teacher is not punishing the child. There you see why the teacher is putting the head down. You're not able to know and you feel why this. If he's talking, the teacher is giving punishment. That's not punishment, that's called, uh, the child is not getting a visual clue. We have to give an auditory feedback. She has, Khalik has to hear the sound, and then he has to point it out. There will be three objects. He has to point it out the, the object what he is hearing. 
We have a student, uh, the third level of student. Alhamdulillah, they have been very good. They are into the third level. There are two, two kids, Aditya and Furkhan. So when we start with Aditya, Aditya is a parent of Chandra Mohan and Venkat Subhama. He's aged around four years, and he can. And the parents both are normal. He's he's got a, Alhamdulillah 70 to 80 words. He's got a vocabulary. He can he he has developed 70 words that I can say he's learned for his life. This vocabulary remains with him. Whatever he has learned in his past one year, he remains with him. He can pronounce it. He can use those words in his day-to-day -day life. He start a small video about him. Aeroplane. Man. Ball. <laughs> Car. Uh. Bottle. But, uh. Car. Well. Pencil. Best. Cup. Yeah. Dog. Say <laughs> loudly. <Yeah>. Door. <laughs> Comb, <coughs> bus, stop. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, he can say comb, all these words he can identify. And he can speak in sentence as well. Uh, these children in the third level, they can speak in sentence as well. Uh, we have next boy by name Furkhan. He's on 5.5 years. When he has joined one year back, he was not having any speech. They came with a blank. He can't speak, he can't call his parents, he can't identify, no vocabulary at all. Alhamdulillah, after a training of one year, he has learned and he able to, he's got around 70, 70 to 80 words of vocabulary. And Alhamdulillah, he even, even he can speak in sentences. Ball. No. Aeroplane. Oh, this bottle. Ah, what is that? Bottle. Watch. Watch. Flower. Yeah. Drum. Yeah. Pencil. Pencil. Cup. Cup. Dog. Dog. Door. Door. Shirt. Shirt. Assalamu. Assalamu. How are you? Bye. Say in a full sentence. I am. I like. Fine. Bye. What is your name? Bye. Alhamdulillah, you can say the sha, it's like a difficult word to pronounce, sha, shirt. Alhamdulillah, he is able to say shirt. That's a good sentence and a good word, word he has learned in his vocabulary. So we have to give a sm small demonstration from the teacher. So make it a point like, these all been the efforts of the teachers in Alhamdulillah, able to put on a lot of efforts to identify. Some of the kids we are just going to call here, and uh, we are going to share the pictures. Inshallah, some of them will be saying these people are very smart. They made some videos on their own, edited, and uh, they're showing on to us uh, that we have done so much of achievements. So, so to remove your misconception that we have not done any video editing, this is the responses what these kids are doing. So we're going to de demonstrate to you live. We are going to put some objects on the screen and we ask the child to identify. Inshallah, they can identify and tell the what exactly is coming on that. What are you calling? I am not telling you to go to car. Say what is, what is it? Very good. He is saying car. Okay. You, what is it? Boy. <laughs> oh, ball. Sorry. I am thinking it is still in the car and he is identified right. I am wrong. I am wrong. You are right. What is it? Say what is that? Ball, very, mashallah, mashallah. So next, can I have next? Bottle. Bottle. You able to understand what they are trying? Bottle. There is no editing happening here. It's live. 
What? Bus. Bus. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Bus. Door. He is able to say door. Pencil. Pencil. He is happy to say it's a pencil. <laughs> Next. Mashallah, mashallah. Cup. What is that? What is that? Hmm? Wait, for uh, Aditya will say. What is Aditya? Shoes. Okay. Mashallah. Fan. Okay. Can anybody in the audience will say? What is that? Spoon. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay. Okay, he, just I'm trying to say is a normal, even he is a normal. He can identify even he, Alhamdulillah, even he can identify. Yeah. Plate. It's a difficult word to pronounce plate. Alhamdulillah, able to pronounce the word plate. Balloon. Balloon. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. Mm -hmm. What is this? Khalik is also telling me. Okay, Khalik, you want to say something? Khalik, what is it? What is it? Say, say. Say, what is it? Say, what is it? Banana. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, he is able to say it's banana. What is this? Say, say, say. You see, he's making his mouth as green. He's able to pronounce the word as green. What color is that? What color is that? Green. Green. MashaAllah. Okay, we have a, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, this is not, uh, you have been, we have been proven that the, what the teachers have been put efforts. So this is shows like if you do a early intervention program, when a normal child can identify as a spoon, a hearing impaired child can identify the colors, different words. This is what is early intervention is. We have put a lot of efforts to make them understand. Alhamdulillah, once they learn it, it's for the life. It remains with them for a long time. Here we have our parent views uh, to make us more better in our program and our uh, teaching. So we had some questions we asked, uh, different questions we asked to the parents. And these are what are their answers and the feedback from them. When my son had a problem, I heard that when I went to the hospital, I told him that बच्चों के लिए एक सेपरेट बैरा रिपोर्ट निकाला जाता है जिसमें पता चलता है कि बच्चों को सुनाए देता है कि नहीं करके तो बाद में डॉक्टर रेफर किया इधर सीबीआई रोड में एक हेयरिंग हेल्थ केयर क्लिनिक है उधर जाके चेकअप कराए करके जब मैं इधर आया तो रिपोर्ट देखने के बाद पता चला कि मेरा बेटे को थोड़ा सुनाई देने का थोड़ा तकलीफ है बाद में जब सुनाई नहीं देता तो बच्चों को बोलने का भी थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम रहता है तो इधर आके पता चला है कि ऐसे स्कूल ओपन कर रहे हैं जो बच्चों को बोलने का थेरेपी क्लासेज दिया जाता है बच्चों को एंड करने से पहले बच्चे को कुछ भी पता नहीं था क्या कर रहा है क्या वो टोटली नल कुछ जानता नहीं हो क्या है क्या करके जब मैं इधर डाला तो उसको थोड़ा थोड़ा महसूस हो रहा है कि बोल सकता है करके इधर आके वर्ड्स बोलता है उससे पहले कुछ नहीं था एक नॉर्मल था जब भी हम बुलाते सुनाई नहीं देता था कुछ नहीं एक्टिविटीज़ नहीं करता था इधर डालने के बाद बहुत सुधर गया आठ महीने के अंदर मेरे ख्याल से लगभग ज़्यादा ही सुधर गया मैं बहुत ही खुश हुआ इतना शॉर्ट पीरियड में बहुत कुछ सीखा मेरा बेटा जितना तक कि हम सोचे उससे ज़्यादा ही सीखा इधर आने के बाद वो पापा मम्मी सभी बोलना शुरू किया कलर्स ये नॉर्मल बच्चा जैसे स्कूल में पढ़ाई करने ऐसे फिलहाल क्लैरिटी नहीं रहने से भी कोशिश करता है कुछ बोलने का जहाँ तक है क्लैरली नहीं रहने से बोलता है वो आजकल वो बोलना सीखा है कोई इशारा नहीं करता घर में पहले इशारा करता था कुछ लेके हमें लेके जाता था उधर वो करना ये करना आजकल बोलना वो शुरू किया इसको वो ही सोचा कौन सा अच्छा स्कूल रहेगा जिसमें हम डालने के बाद बच्चों का अच्छा केयर लिया जाए क्योंकि ये नॉर्मल बच्चा नहीं है जो डाल दिया तो ऐसे ही खेला कूदे बच्चा इसको नहीं तो बच्चों का ज़्यादा केयर लेना ऐसे बच्चों को जिसको बोल नहीं सकता कुछ बातें नहीं कर सकता सुन नहीं सकता तो उनको ऐसे केयर लेना चाहिए कि जैसे छोटा बच्चा थोड़ा उम्र तक जब तक तो उसने बोल ना पाए मेरे तो से कुछ नहीं सब जानते हैं उनको इतना 
स्टाफ तो सभी एक्सपीरियंस स्टाफ है जो जानते हैं बच्चों को बहुत सारा जगह देख कर आए हैं कैसे पढ़ाना बच्चों को कैसे ट्रेन करना जैसे उनको ऊपर लेकर आने के लिए खुशी है मुझे कि मेरा बच्चा आठ महीने में इतना कुछ सीखा है तो जब बच्चा वन वन एंड हाफ ईयर के अंदर कुछ बोल नहीं पाए तो बेटर है जाके चेकअप कराएं पहले डॉक्टर पास जाके बच्चों का बैरर रिपोर्ट चेक करा के देखना उसमें क्या प्रॉब्लम है अगर बच्चा सुन पा रहा है तो बोल क्यों नहीं पा रहा कुछ प्रॉब्लम रहेगा जैसे बोल नहीं पाता कुछ थ्रोट का इसका थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम है चेकअप कराने के बाद अच्छा है कि एक अच्छा स्कूल में डालें जहाँ थेरेपी क्लासेस चलाए जाते हैं बच्चों को बोलने का सिखाया जाता है ताकि आने वाला दो साल दो टू टू एंड हाफ अंदर बच्चा बोल सके जैसे उसका एज बढ़ते रहेगा नॉर्मल स्कूल जा सकता है जितना जल्दी बच्चों का हम पहचान लेंगे उतना हमारे लिए अच्छा रहता है जैसे एज बढ़ जाएगा तो बोलने का बहुत तकलीफ हो जाता है बच्चा का जो जिंदगी ये भी खराब हो जाता है हाँ हमेशा साथ देंगे क्योंकि ऐसे बच्चों को हम कभी भी सपोर्ट करना चाहिए कि ताकि और एक को इंक्रेजमेंट हो सभी एक सभी एक साथ मिल कुछ काम करेंगे तो हम सक्सेस होंगे ऐसे मेरे तरफ से जो भी सपोर्ट होगा हम पक्का करेंगे हाँ रिसेंटली मेरे बच्चों को ईयर रिंग ऐड मिला हमारे पास रिसाउंड का ईयर रिंग ऐड थी मेरा बच्चा थोड़ा शायद उससे थोड़ा तकलीफ होता अभी अच्छा बच्चा का डेवलपमेंट देखे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने अच्छा काम किया कि बच्चे को अच्छा ईयर रिंग ऐड दिया ताकि बच्चा अच्छे तरह बोल सके कि और भी थोड़ा अच्छा सपोर्ट करें उनका जो फ्रेंड्स रहेंगे उनको भी थोड़ा सपोर्ट लें एलमल स्कूल को थोड़ा बढ़ाएं थोड़ा अच्छा हर जगह पर इस्टेब्लिशमेंट करें so that is aditya's parents feedback about uh, how did you come to know about alamal is asfias assalam alaikum mera naam asma parveen mere bachche ka naam asfia anjum hame sira se ra kar hain hamare shohar badi chakkar the mere bachche ko 2 saal hoye ke baad humna maloom hua ke inhe nahi sun sakti kuch bhi awaaz aaye to response nahi kar rahi hai फर्स्ट टुमकुर को गए टुमकुर के डॉक्टर बोले इधर सभी ऐसे मिशनरी नहीं है आप मैसूर को जाओ करके बोले मैसूर को गए तो वहाँ है ना 21 दिन में नहीं होता हम कब कब बुलाते हैं तब तब आना करके बोले हम ना जाने वहाँ उतना मुश्किल होता है करके नहीं गए बाद में निमहांस को गए निमहांस में चक्कर आए हमारे पास मशीन नहीं फिर उन्होंने बोले मैसूर को जाओ घर को बाद में एक पेपर में एडवर्टाइजमेंट देख के ज़रिए हमें यहाँ तक अलामल स्कूल तक आकर पहुँचे मेरी बच्ची को खुद उसका नाम पहचान नहीं था आज है ना वो वाट इज़ योर नेम का तो असफिया करके बोलती है बॉल बोलती बस आवाज़ भी माशाल्लाह अल्लाह फजल से बोलती है सभी अमल के स्कूल के टीचर सभी पढ़ाने की वजह से आज मेरी बच्ची इम्प्रूवमेंट है मैं यहाँ एक रूम लेकर मार्केट में छोटी सी रूम लेकर मेरी बच्ची भी मैं आकर यहाँ है और मार्केट से यहाँ मैं सी रोड तक बस में आती हूँ अलामल स्कूल को आए बाद टीचर्स क्लास लेने के बाद इंग्लिश आ रहा है मैं रोज़ाना बस में सफ़र करती हूँ और इस दौरान मेरी बच्ची की मिशी मैं पर्स में सो जाने की वजह से पर्स में रखती हूँ और किसी ने मेरी पर्स में वॉलेट समझकर मशीन उठा लिए और मेरी मशीन गवे जाने के बाद से मुझे अलमल से मदद मिली और एक मशीन दी है मैं एक मिडल क्लास फैमिली से हैं और मशीन के ज़रिए हम ना हेल्प हुई नहीं का तो हम इतनी महंगे की मशीन नहीं डाल सकते थे अलमल स्कूल से वो मशीन देने से आज मेरी बच्ची बात कर रही है मुझे खुशी हो रही है कि यहाँ अलमल को आने के बाद मेरी बच्ची इम्प्रूवमेंट हो रही है इंग्लिश में बात करते हैं अब जो कुछ भी वर्ड नहीं बोलती थी आज बोलती है वर्ड सभी भरोसा पूरा है कि मेरी बच्ची बात कर सकती है नॉर्मल स्कूल जा सकती है टीचर्स में मैनेजमेंट सब साथ देने से आज मेरी बच्ची बात करने के लायक हो सकी टीचर अपनी तरफ से पूरी कोशिश कर रहे हैं और बच्चे को इम्प्रूव कर रहे हैं बच्ची की जैसा दूसरे बच्चे हों तो वो ज़रूर अपनी बच्ची को स्कूल को भेज कर बच्ची को नॉर्मल स्कूल को भेजने की कोशिश करें लम्बल स्कूल को आने के बाद माएँ खुद इंग्लिश सीखकर बच्ची को सिखा सकती हैं जैसे मैं सीखी हूँ इस तरह दूसरे माँ भी अपने बच्चों को इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं सब बच्चों की तरह मेरी बच्ची भी नॉर्मल स्कूल जाना नॉर्मल बच्चों की जैसा बात करना जब मैं हॉस्पिटल गया था संतोष हॉस्पिटल डॉक्टर जवाद है ना वो हमारा रिलेशन है वो बोले अच्छा भी है ना इनके पास जाओ अलामल इंस्टीट्यूट बोल के आए उधर के बाद आने से इधर बात किया अरशद भाई से जो समझे अरशद भाई ऐसा बच्चे को ये उम्र में ऐसा रहना था आप लेट हो गया फिर भी आपका बच्चा अच्छा होने का चांसेस हैं अभी से आप कुछ बच्चे को ये करके कुछ भी करो बच्चे को मशीन डाल के ट्रेनिंग दे दो करके बोले मेरे को उम्मीद ही नहीं थी कि बच्चा बात करता बोल के इधर आने से पहले 
जब इधर आके वो ट्रेनिंग शुरू किया तब से उसकी आवाज़ जो निकली आवाज़ ही नहीं आती थी पहले उसकी बाहर से जब ट्रेनिंग शुरू किया तब से अल्लाह का फजल बच्चा बहुत कामयाबी में है और अच्छा पढ़ रहा है और अच्छा बात भी करने की कोशिश है सबको घर में बात करता अच्छा बच्चा ठीक हो जाए और बच्चे को अच्छे से अच्छा सुनाई दें और बात करने की कोशिश करो पहला लड़का है तीन साल के बाद ही बात किया हूँ वो समझ के मैं लेट बात करता करके था लेकिन बाद में इधर उधर तीन चार जगह लेके गया उसको टेस्टिंग किया बेरा टेस्ट करके देखा तो उसमें फर्ड बच्चे का कान में है बोल के मालूम हुआ इसलिए जब मैं और हमारे बड़े भाई आए थे तो वो खुश हो गया बोले कि पहले आप पहले ही लेट हो गया बच्चे को अभी जाके कर दो और ज़्यादा लेट होने से और बच्चे को तकलीफ होती है फिर आके इधर अरशद भाई के पास ही इन सब कुछ तो बहुत अच्छा चल रहा है इधर उसकी तो कोई ज़रूरत ही नहीं है बहुत अच्छा बच्चे को ट्रेनिंग दे रहे हैं सब कुछ पढ़ा रहे हैं और बच्चा बोलने की कोशिश भी बहुत अच्छा करता है ए, वो बहुत लेट हो गया तो बच्चा बात करना भी मुश्किल हो जाता है जल्द से जल्द कितना जल्द करते हैं वो उतना ठीक रहेगा सजेशन ये है कि जल्द से जल्द बच्चे को ईयरिंग एड दे के या उसका इलाज करा के उसे जल्द से जल्द ठीक करके उसे बोलने की कोशिश करने के वास्ते यस गुड इम्प्रूवमेंट अलहमदिल्ला वी आर वरीड बिफोर जॉइनिंग सी आई एस आफ्टर जॉइनिंग सी आई एस अलमल प्रोजेक्ट आफ्टर वन ईयर अलहमदिल्ला वी आर वेरी हैप्पी नाउ ही कैन स्पीक नाउ ही कैन अटर फ्यू वर्ड्स ही कैन मैंशन हिज नेम अब्दुल खालिक बिफोर नथिंग बिफोर देर वॉज नथिंग ही वॉज कम्प्लीटली डेफ एंड म्यूट Only after joining CIS Alamal, Alhamdulillah, he started uttering words. My elder son is taking care of him. My elder son is, he can speak and hear. I, being a deaf, couldn't recognize that my child is a deaf. However, at the age of 10 months, I tried to make sound like using drums and all. But when he didn't respond, I consulted Brother Zubair from CIS, and CIS has guided me to Alamal Early Intervention School. When my child was 10 months old my family was not ready to admit him into any kind of school they said after the age of 3 years we can try to admit him into some school my father said at the age of 1 the child's brain will not be developed so at the age of 3 it will be developed and he will be able to speak my advice to the parents of a deaf child please don't waste your time please admit them into such school where they can learn speech and hearing before when my child was 10 months old he never heard anything never spoke anything now after joining alamal he started speaking he started saying la 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 pa 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 ku 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 he started speaking ball etc within a period of 1 year if he has started saying such words imagine after 4 years what would happen we expect a complete support from cis and we hope that my child will be guided to mainstream education when i came here for the first time i could see only four children i was little worried that when there are lots of children in other school why only four children then you made me understand that if there are less number of children a teacher will be able to concentrate more on each and every child so alhamdulillah i'm glad that my child has learned a lot we tried some other schools as well to put our child into that but however the fees was too much there and however zubair also helped us in terms of fees as well we are thankful for that the next question would be she being a deaf what she has lost the uh, crucial period of earlier critical age which is called as from 0 to 3 years is called as critical age which she has lost because of which she had to uh, be a deaf throughout her life what she feels being a deaf and what she expect her son to be this would be my question Allah we hope that after 4 years he will be able to speak like a normal uh, human being and with the help of hearing it 
he has to wear the hearing aid throughout his life inshallah and with the help of hearing aid he'll be able to hear and inshallah he'll be able to speak as well the next question would be she being a deaf what she has lost the uh, crucial period of earlier critical age which is called as from 0 to 3 years is called as critical age which she has lost because of which she had to uh, be a deaf throughout her life what she feels being a deaf and what she expects her son to be this would be my question when my child was one year i thought okay not to put him school when i saw other children three years and older they simply using sign language so i was a little scared so i thought let him put him now itself into school and alhamdulillah it worked out allama ke bare mein mujhe urdu newspaper se pata chala salar newspaper se baad maine aake arshad bhai se mulaqat ki to unhone school ke bare mein aisa tafseer se kaha ki aisa idhar jo bacche sun nahi pate hain unke liye agar jaldi se laake da daakhila kar diya jaye to bahut hi behtareen hoga taaki wo aage chal ke normal school mein unke daakhila ho thoda waqt laga idhar laake daakhila karne mein ek do teen mahina mujhko time lag gaya kyunki jo और पैसे के लिए भी मुझे एक थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम था इस वक्त एडमिशन वगैरह और मशीन वगैरह इसके लिए थोड़ा मुझे ये वक्त लेना पड़ा उस दरमियान जो है मैं मेरे बच्चे को नॉर्मल स्कूल पर ऐसा बेबी सिटिंग ऐसे भेज रहा था तो उसके बाद फिर ज़ुबैर भाई से ऐसा के मुलाकात करना पड़ा तो अलहमदिल्ला सी एस वालों की तरफ से मुझे मशीन की जो है बहुत ही बेहतरीन मदद मिली एक्सपेक्टेशन तो मेरा यही है कि जो भी बच्चे इधर है इधर से कामयाब होकर निकले जैसे आप लोग सोच रहे हैं वैसे बन के इधर से नॉर्मल स्कूल में उनके दाखिला हो अभी ये स्कूल छोटा है थोड़ा बड़ा लेवल पे किया जाए तो बहुत ही अच्छा होगा क्योंकि बहुत से बच्चों को पता नहीं माँ बापों को भी पता नहीं होता जिनके बच्चे इसे हैं और अगर ऐसे कुछ बड़े पैना में किया जाए तो बहुत ही बेहतरीन होगा हम लोग तो काफ़ी हद तक यही सोच रहे थे कि नहीं इन बच्चा नॉर्मल स्कूल जाएगा तो बच्चों से मिलकर ऐसे ऐसे बात करने लगेगा लेकिन हाँ ये बिल्कुल सही है अगर बच्चा सुन नहीं पाया तो बात भी नहीं कर पाएगा सुनने के लिए ज़रूर कुछ ना कुछ तो उसके आवाज़ पहुंचना चाहिए तो मशीन के ज़रिए बेहतरीन है वो उन पेरेंट्सों के लिए तो यही कहूँगा वेट कीजिए लेकिन जिस पे वेट करना उस पर कीजिए बच्चों के लाइफ से रिस्क नहीं लेना चाहिए बच्चों का जो है फ्यूचर हम हमें फ्यूचर उनका देखना चाहिए ऐसा नहीं है कि फ्यूचर उनका देखे बगैर हम लोग नहीं वेट किया और एक साल दो साल टाइम तो हाथ से निकल जाएगा फिर वो गए हुआ टाइम तो वापस तो नहीं आएगा ना जितना जल्दी हो सके जितना जल्दी हो सके कोशिश करें आके इधर दाखिला कर दीजिए अलहमदिल्ला मुतमिन है मुझे रिस्पॉन्स दे रहा है सर उनको माशा और थोड़ा एक दो वर्ड भी अपने ज़बान से बोल रहा है वो अभी इन और एक छः आठ महीना देखेंगे तो इन वो चीज़ देखने को मिलेगी हमें जब मशीन लगाने के बाद फिर एक टेस्ट किया है बेरा टेस्ट किए और तो उसमें तो अलहमदिल्ला इम्प्रूवमेंट दिख रहा है तो बेहतर है अभी जैसे छः महीने से पहले जो था तो उस सब से अभी तो बहुत ही काफ़ी तक बेहतर है कि मेरा बच्चा हाफिज आलिम बने ये अभी से नहीं बहुत पहले से ही मेरी ख्वाहिश है तो इन मुझे अल्लाह की ज़्यादा भरोसा है और अलमल स्कूल अल्लाह की तरफ से तो ये मुझे ये हुआ है तो ज़रूर इन मेरा बेटा जो मेरी ख्वाहिश है वो ज़रूर पूरा होगा इन आई लाइक टू कॉल अ स्पेशल इनवाइटी टुडे इज नेम इज़ ब्रदर खैस टू इंट्रोड्यूस हिम अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह ही इज़ अ प्रिंसिपल साइंटिस्ट इन बायोकॉन आफ्टर कम्प्लीटिंग हिज बायो केमिस्ट्री बायो टेक्नोलॉजी सॉरी ब्रदर बायो टेक्नोलॉजी सो ब्रदर हेज कम डाउन ऑल द वे to give uh, his word of mo- uh, speech to the hearing impaired children the family uh, how can what is his achievement how he has achieved being uh, uh, to introduce him he's ha- he's got a profound hearing loss he can't hear 90% in both the ears alhamdulillah with this thing also he able to achieve such a big achievement even i we and many of us having a good hearing we could not able to do so when brother khais can achieve and he's going to motivate the children here sitting the students and the hearing impaired and the parents have have trust inshallah when i can achieve others can achieve i call brother khais assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh 
I would like to thank Mr. Arshad for calling me here. I mean, it's clear now. Are you here? Okay. So, Yek wanted to me to speak about uh, how I coped up with all my problems and came to this level of being a scientist. I was diagnosed with my hearing problem when I was of seven years of age. Because like, uh, at that time, there was no early intervention school or anything. Alhamdulillah, my, when it was diagnosed that I had a hearing problem, so like I, when it was diagnosed that I had a hearing problem, so I was suggested to use a hearing aid. And I was in a normal school. Okay. Like uh, once I was suggested to hearing, I was not very happy using the hearing aid at that point of time. So I started using the hearing aid when I was 12th or uh, maybe around 8th or 9th standard. Then I realized the difference that my studies have been improving. Okay. I started taking rank in the school. Okay. And uh, in 10th standard, in, the, in my school, I took a third rank. And in my 12th standard, I took a first rank. And hence, I went on improving. Then I joined my engineering in Mangalore, where, alhamdulillah, I was able to successfully complete my engineering course, then move on to my post-graduation doing MTech and biotechnology. And alhamdulillah, I joined Balkan in 2008 as a scientist. And now, after six years of my experience, I've been promoted to principal scientist. What I would like to say is, <coughs> to achieve this is not really difficult. Okay. Alhamdulillah, it, Almighty's grace that despite all these disabilities, I'm able to overcome challenges. Okay. Do dua to Allah, to whatever you want. It's not, even though you have the shortcomings, it's not difficult to cope up. So all, I would request the parents to persevere with their children. You could spend some time with the children. Do not get demotivated that they are not able to do it. They are, they are capable of doing it. With the, and the more time, spend more time with them, understand. And I'm sure Brother Arshid will help all of them to achieve what they want to do. Okay. I hope, I wish all the good for all the hearing impaired children. Inshallah, they will do very well in the future. Thank you very much. Jazakallah, brother. Brother, I have one more. So I'm going to ask some questions to you. So when you were a kid, do you think you had these facilities, what these kids are getting now, the awareness, uh, the hearing aids? How do you feel? When I was a kid, I was not aware whether, whether there were facilities or not. But what I remember was my mother, she always used to make me read, recite Quran. She always make, used to make me recite the Quran. Maybe that was which like, helped me open up my speech. When I was very early of age, maybe I was talking to the same way the children are talking now. I was now I was not having a perfect speech. But Alhamdulillah, over a period of time, by Almighty Greg, I'm able to speak well now. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. How do you feel like the response you saw on the video, the childs are responding? How do you feel them? Inshallah, they can become, inshallah, like you in future if they work hard. Actually, I cannot remember how I work, whether I'm having this kind of problem when I was like a small. But I feel they, are, they should be. If you and you are saying that I have a 90 percent, some people are 90 percent, they should be able to do it. Only thing is, people should not lose hope. Okay? You have to create more awareness to all other people so that they can support these kind of people. So they can do it. They should be able to do it, inshallah. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair, brother, for your time and motivational words. Inshallah, you are a kind of uh, motivation to the parents. I'm seeing nodding their heads. And uh, they're giving in, uh, motivation from you so that he is standing tall and despite of your uh, disability, you have come up so far and achieved. Inshallah, we make dua to have much more success in your career. And thanks for your time and thanks for your support you have shown for these little kids and like, coming here because many people don't care for these people. You know, they have come all the way to support them. Mashallah, we pray Allah that you bestow more knowledge on it. Zakallah khair. So, Brother Khais. So inshallah, this is like annual day program. You people are uh, seeing what these people are showing presentations, they're giving interviews and all. There is no presentation from the kids who, is, uh, who should be there. So in, uh, to, to fill that gap, inshallah, we are coming with the uh, uh, kids' performance. Anashid, they're going to play, I'm a Muslim. I am a Muslim, the things I say in everything I do every day. We are Muslim, the things we say in everything we do every day. So that I will grow 
道。Juice and milk, these I think are so delicious for me to drink. Water, juice and milk, these we think are so delicious for us to drink. When we drink, we say Bismillah. When we done, we say Alhamdulillah. When we drink, we say Bismillah. When we done, we say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. With my mom and dad, coming home, oh what fun we had! Going up with our mom and dad, coming home, oh what fun we had! Driving in the car, Bismillah, coming safely home, Alhamdulillah. Da Bismillah, da Bismillah. Sleep saying Allah's name, and in the morning I do the same. We go to sleep saying Allah's name, and in the morning we do the same. When we sleep we say Bismillah. When we rise we say Alhamdulillah. When we sleep we say Bismillah. When we rise we say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I am a Muslim. The things I say in everything I do every day. We are Muslims. The things we say in everything we do every day. Do 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 do. Bismillah. Do 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 do. Alhamdulillah. Do 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 do. Bismillah. Do 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 do. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Zakallah khair. Call brother Faroos, who is again a hearing impaired, to come and just give a thought. See, we call all these people today to show you how uh, early intervention program can able to help them to talk, communicate, come in front of you and speak. Brother Faroos. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. All praise and thanks be to Allah. May peace and blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companion and his follower. Myself, Feroz, I am an artist. I have complete degree in fine art from Chitra Kala Parishat. And I am currently working with uh, IT company as senior graphic designer since 12 years. I had, Alhamdulillah, I had chair performed last, uh, last year in and after such early intervention and training, I am here speaking before you. May Allah bless my parents the best for all they have put to train me and my brother Abdullah Rashid. Since I since childhood, I used to wear earring net, which made the people around me to understand my need. And they often spoke to me. Alhamdulillah. With such practice, I am now able to speak. 
I always suggest I always suggest the death to wear wear ear in it because most of them are shy of wearing it. We are, we have gathered here to encourage and motivate the parents and the children to undergo such coach. Kindly do your best to support the no, this noble cause where the effort is put to change the situation of death. May Allah grant us the tawfiq to understand the need and work together for the cause. May Allah accept it from us and you. Jazakumullah. Khair, Brother Feroz. I like to say a unique quality of Brother Feroz. Uh, which car you have got? What? Which car? Which car? I don't have. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. How do you travel? How I? No, I, I usually drive by cycle. By cycle, I usually uh, from okay. home to office regular. I'm new. How many, uh, where is your office and how many kilometers you oh. cycle every day? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm staying near Jakkur, my office in Damlu. So it, it takes 20 kilometers, that take one hour, 15 minutes. So one way you go? Up and down, up and down is 40 kilometers. Alhamdulillah, we, that's, this is your secret of your fitness. Yeah. This is your secret of your fitness. Yeah. No, I I don't get any tired. I'm I'm driving since ninety five. Alhamdulillah. This is a motivation word from Brother Feroz. We should learn from him. He's driving forty kilometers a day and keeping himself. He says, uh, I don't have any any issue with my uh, uh, health. Alhamdulillah, I'm very happy and I don't have any sickness. And he suggested rightly things to all the brothers to wear hearing aids. Why he said I was discussing with him. He said. When a person see you wearing a hearing aid, they give more importance. Uh, you are telling something like if you wear a hearing aid, how people react to you? So if I wear in aid, if I don't wear a aid, they they may not know that I am really deaf. They will think I am mad sometimes. If I wear a aid, around people able to understand that I am really deaf. They will kindly will make adjustment for for me how to what 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 i require alhamdulillah so this is a motivation word from brother feroz who is who's standing on his feet see he's not depending on anybody irrespective of his uh, disability being a profound hearing impaired he is working on his own he is earning he is going to his work and he's taking care of family alhamdulillah you have two kids brother yeah. you have two kids my yeah, I have three kids, one son, and, uh, eight years old, and daughter is four years, and uh, my uh, another daughter is 16 months old. Alhamdulillah, see, when he's communicate, he can talk, he can do like this. So these are the examples for our younger generation, motivation to the parents. See, when he's done, when Mr. Brother Khayes can do, Alhamdulillah, other kids and future kids who have been deprived of this or identified by this, so take a message, inshallah, they also can do. Jazakallah khair, Brother Feroz. Uh, I'd like to share some thoughts about a society who is uh, strive forward in Karnataka to take care of these children. Millat Management has started a school by name Muskan to take care of these uh, deprived children in both hearing and deafness. Alhamdulillah, they were very much constant in support with us. They, all the way they have come here to extend their support to us for this cause. And they have focus and uh, they want to do something. We got already six to seven admission, where is a, alhamdulillah, one of its kind, a, a beautiful residential place where the child can stay there and learn, uh, learn also. So we got already six, seven students. You find any students of those age, around five, seven years of age, who is hearing impaired, you can send them there. They'll admit into their school. Uh, they have the accommodation facilities, resid uh, residence facilities as well as available. It's called Muskan, and it's in Hegde Nagar. So uh, I welcome uh, 
uh, all the dignitaries of uh, Millet Management, Ashit Khan Saab, and uh, uh, editor Salar Saab, uh, Salar editor Sir Mustafa Hamid Saab, Zakallah Khair for coming and uh, uh, supporting us. And I like this opportunity to welcome uh, Dr. Mustafa Hamid, Sir, uh, as the chief of uh, Shifa Hospital. Alhamdulillah, one of its kind for our community, who is uh, giving the best possible treatment at a very low price. Inshallah, we make dua, Sheikh, to continue this and uh, get more people benefit. Alhamdulillah, we have explained to Sheikh about this importance, and he's uh, we have uh, making a program. The child who's born in the hospital will be screened about this uh, OAE screening uh, early intervention program, so that we identify early and uh, treat the child in deafness. Alhamdulillah, most of this uh, since being an uh, annual day function, so we want to present one more. Uh, presentation from the kids at Five Little Ducks, who's going to come with Quack Quack here. Let's see how these ducks perform. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, Quack 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 Quack, but, but only four little ducks came back. Quack 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 Quack. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. Three quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only two little ducks came back. Quack, 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 quack. But only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 but none of the five little ducks came back. Quack, 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 but none of the five little ducks came back. Sad mother duck went out one day over the hills and far away. The sad mother duck said quack 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 and all the five little ducks came back. Quack quack quack, quack 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 and all the five little ducks came back. Quack quack quack, quack 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 and all the five little ducks came back. So, quack, 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 ducks. All still there happy. So, I don't hear people are enjoying it. At least say once more. And now I have to ask, I have to ask for once more. I will. So, inshallah, we can do it. Uh, before that, I call uh, one more brother who is a hearing impaired. Uh, brother Harith. So, he's going to come over here and share his views. Brother Harith. Assalamualaikum. Alhamdulillah. May peace and blessing be upon our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My name is Harith. I am properly from Gadal, now in Bangalore since 2011. I have finished the diploma in architecture. I am currently working in Opus Architect Company. And I am planning to do a degree in architecture. Remember me in Vartuva. Ishana, this I may achieve this in degree. Some of my friends helped me. Uh, 
some of my friends include me to CIS uh, uh, everyday classes, regular Islamic classes. We see it on every Sunday. I got to know there so many projects of some CIS. Alhamdulillah. I learned so many projects from CIS. Inshallah, I would like it to be dedicated myself for such from CIS and by Amal. May Allah take it work done from me. Hmm. I appreciate each and everyone of your support to CIS and Amun. Thank you. Thank you, JazakAllah Khair. So where are you from? I'm from Gadeh. How much loss you have got? What is your hearing loss? I lost 61 percent. 61 percent. Alhamdulillah, brother is teaching others uh, fellow deafs about Islam and with the sign language. Since he's got language, he speaks regular Sunday classes. He explains them. He comes to Muskan. Inshallah, is going to stay there and going to help the children who are going to join there and help them in understanding language, speech, and Islamic teachings. So, uh, got a good news for you, Mr. Brother Harit. One of our uh, elder person, my name is Mr. Aziz, who is residing. Uh, his no more, uh, his son has come, Mr. Aziz, sir. And he's asked me, who you people see in uh, Deccan Herald Oasis, most of the time his articles will be there. He is with us. We are welcoming also. Uh, uh, Sheikh has given uh, good hearing aid, which costs you around uh, nearing a lakh rupees to you, to help you in hearing better and make better in your uh, career what you are going to achieve, inshallah, in a graduation or Islamic studies. So, uh, with him, I'd like to give you this. Brother Zubair can hand over this to Maharib. This hearing aid, inshallah, he'll have a small hearing aid and he can hear better. It's a eight channel hearing aid. He can hear better and inshallah, he can communicate better. Zakallah khair. It's yeah. one more thing. When I was studying in primary school, that time I did not wear hearing machines. When my mom called me, I was in the room. She, when she uh, speak loud, but I cannot hear, she came room and called me. And that like, uh, after the, uh, completing high school, I use hearing mission. Uh, that time, wherever I mom called me, that time I hear that uh, I went to my mom. For, my parents feel very happy for hearing, using earrings. Thank you. So you see all the time Brother Zubair quiet here, he's sitting here. Alhamdulillah he's a driving force. I just like to mention about him. He is a motivation for me, especially the, the effort he puts, the dedication he shows. You have seen this lovely presentation PPT. Both uh, Mr. and Mr. Zubair send nights and days to prepare Alhamdulillah this kind of presentation when everything is planned accordingly. Uh, if you do, I feel if I achieve 10% of what Zubair Bay is doing, Alhamdulillah, I feel I have achieved a lot. May Allah pray uh, Allah to bestow Zubair Bay more, more, more patience and more uh, uh, services like this. Uh, with like this, and since our guests have arrived here, I need to do a small demonstration about this. Our kids, those who have come now, how they talk, how they learn over a period of one year training. Some of our guests have missed like our uh, program, what we have told earlier. So just going to demonstrate how children are learning sp uh, speaking in sentences, how they can pronounce and identify different words. So we have two three level students here, Furhan uh, and Aditya. The teacher is going to ask some questions and they're going to respond in China. Furhan, come here. Ducks are over, come. They're still in the ducks costumes. The ducks gone, come. Stand, okay? Stand here. Sir. Assalamu. I am me. I love me. Ma. Lam. You say hello. Hello. Da. Hello. Hello. Ba. Da. What is your name? What is your name? Ba. Da. Good. See ya. What is that?
This is a training what has made. These children, alhamdulillah, and no further more training can, can learn better and they can communicate. And, uh, they can talk like other, uh, other elder, elder brothers who has come over here and uh, shown that they can t speak and communicate in front of you. So I'd like to call... Okay. I'd like to call uh, Brother Mehtap, who is a member of uh, CIS Welfare Trust and he's going to produce the challenges before CIS and Alamal. What all we need, what we require, Bhuvan Mehtap. And there is a proprietor of uh, what is it? Islam World. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inu wa nasta'khfiru. Wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati amalina. Man yahdihillahu falamudillala wa man yudlilhu falahadiyala. Wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la sharika la. So there have been a lot of goof-ups in names. So we apologize for all the goof-ups. And uh, we welcome all of our guests, our esteemed guests, uh, to this annual day program. Jazakallahu khairan for giving us time and attending this program. As uh, you've been hearing from the beginning of this program, that uh, Al-Amal Early Intervention School is basically a joint initiative of CIS Welfare Trust and uh, HSC, our brother uh, Arshil Hussain, he has been uh, very, very active in uh, bringing things to ship. Alhamdulillah, brother Zubair has been coordinating well since the very beginning. Uh, I would like to point out or rather share with you uh, some of the problems and the possible solutions to these problems uh, with regards early intervention. We have seen many cases in which early intervention has not been done and you can see in this auditorium itself uh, there are two kinds of people, people who are hearing impaired and who were not intervened in their childhood and because of which they are now stone deaf meaning they cannot hear anything unless you provide them with a hearing machine and of course there, there, there is little benefit you can expect from speech therapy for these people but there are also those people who you saw performing on stage who have been intervened before the age of three years and this is the key point that we want to bring awareness about. You see that these kids, the, the research shows that there is a crucial period in which a child, if it is identified that it is having a hearing problem or that it has a hearing loss, it has a hearing loss, profound or critical hearing loss, this child can be intervened with special therapy, speech therapy from that age itself and can be integrated into a normal school. And uh, this discovery itself is a great nama from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Since we have now come to know more about this uh, you know, solution, that if the, ch if the children can be intervened from the young age itself, you know, they can be integrated into normal schools. It is more of a responsibility upon us now to bring more and more awareness regarding this discovery and this, this solution. So, Alhamdulillah, towards eradicating deafness from this world. We see in countries, developed countries like the US, UK, screening for children happens at the birth itself. Screening for deafness happens at the time of birth itself. 
there are techniques by which you can screen a child for deafness as soon as it is born. As Brother Arshad mentioned, there is a device by the name of Bera. This machine can be used to identify deafness in the child. So it is upon us to create an awareness in uh, you know maternity, maternity hospitals, clinics, etc. Where as soon as a child is born, it is you know uh, compulsory. It is part of the uh, delivery process itself that when the child before it is discharged from the hospital, it is also screened for deafness. So what happens is you are able to identify deafness in the child from the from the very beginning itself. Otherwise, what happens as our brothers related to you? that this deafness is not understood by parents. It is not discovered early by the parents. They seem to just, you know, give reasons to themselves. No, maybe, you know, my child is not able to hear. He will hear, you know, in future. They are not able to understand what the real problem is. But if qualified audiologists and ENT doctors are roped in for this service, that it comes as part of the package itself. That the child goes through the uh, screening, the hearing test. Because this is compulsory in developed countries. So they are able to now meet this challenge, this challenge more efficiently. So uh, just recently, Zubair and his team, they met one lady called Michelle. She had come from the US. She is doing a PhD on deafness in, I suppose, in India. Uh, this lady, she was doing all this, going so many places here and there, and we, uh, they, they asked her, you know, uh, why she is, you know, doing all this. She said, I am motivated to do all this because I am myself deaf. And they were amazed that this lady, she was deaf, that she was born deaf, and you will not be able to make out. And we have seen people from the US, etc., they were born deaf. But if you meet them and you speak to them, you will not be able to make out that this, this person was deaf once upon a time. So this awareness is on such a level and such a scale in the US and other places that you know, it's no longer a, you know, a, a, a big challenge as it is in our country. So what are the possible solutions to this problem? As we said, an awareness needs to be created regarding this problem. And more and more ENT doctors and audiologists should be roped in to provide this facility of screening. Secondly, uh, as, as you saw that Alamal Early Intervention School is functioning out of a small place in which you know, we are able to accommodate about 12 students, uh, three classrooms. So we need to expand. We need to rope in more and more students. Of course, if more awareness is created, you will get more students. And uh, when you have more students, you don't have space. So uh, this practical problem is there and we need to address this problem. Th this is a local level problem that I am discussing with you. This is not uh, you know, something on the societal level. I am discussing on the scale of Al-Amal itself. So what are the problems that Al-Amal is right now facing? There are uh, high-end hearing aids required for these students. Because of course there, there are levels of how you can, you know, uh, these levels of hearing aids are such that it's not, you know, one rule fits all. You know, there are varying frequencies and there are varying, you know, types of hearing aids. And the best hearing aids need to be provided for these young kids. And these hearing aids come at, you know, a huge price. they are about 3 lakh rupees a set. So, Alhamdulillah, with Allah's uh, help and with the support of many brothers, uh, these hearing aids have been provided to these young kids. Alhamdulillah, it has just come in by Allah's help. So, all of these uh, kids have been provided with these uh, expensive uh, headsets. And we, we need to create an awareness that these, you know, uh, instruments or these devices can be, you know, uh, such a great uh, source of Sadhkai Jariya for us, you know, even after we have gone, this person, this child, you know, as much as it learns and as, as much as it 
you know, uh, learns about Islam, practices Islam, teaches about Islam. And when he becomes, you know, able like ourselves, inshallah, then this is such a big source of, you know, Sadhka Ijariya even after he has died. And the fourth thing that we uh, are facing as a challenge is, you find that, you know, parents, you know, they are very desperate. And of course, a child, you know, who is born deaf, the parents of such a child, they are definitely desperate and they want to just, you know, uh, look out for some option to cure, you know, their child. So what they do, they are ready to sacrifice. They go long, you know, distances to sacrifice and to provide the best facilities for their kids. But sometimes it becomes really difficult for some parents. Like for example, there is a child, as we said, you know, it's from Sira. You know this child, Asfia, Asfia, Asfia. She's come from Sira. Now her parents, you know, they travel all the way from city market. They've done, you know, hijra from there now. They have come from there. They are settled here. You know, they are, you know, having their own challenges. And you know, there is another child. You know, I think Furkan, right? Furkan. This boy, you know, his his parents, they were having problems. You know, in bringing him, you know, up and down every day. And you know, they eventually removed him from school. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, Arshad Bhai, he's been very uh, motivational and he's gone again and again to their house and you know, to bring this child back to the school. Now, the main problems that these uh, people were facing is that they don't have a residential facility. They don't have a residential facility where you know, uh, the children and the parents, you know, they can stay and uh, teachers could you know spend more and more time with such children so there is a residential you know uh, apparatus a residential school which is required you know to make this thing more more effective and of course as you saw that uh, al amal school as of now has only two qualified staff alhamdulillah they are doing wonders as you yourself saw the demonstration by the students this is something which is which was unbelievable for us to, you know, when, when we inducted these students, we ourselves, you know, uh, it, it is a surprise and a shock for us itself to see, you know, so much of development for these young students. Alhamdulillah, this has come about by a lot of hard effort by our two qualified teachers. These qualified teachers have been qualified from another famous institution which is working for the cause of you know, early intervention among the deaf children. That's Balavadhyalaya, which is in Chennai. Uh, th uh, this uh, school or this institution also provides uh, training for teachers. You know, teachers who want to take up, you know, this field as, as a career. And they want to teach, you know, young children, you know, bring them up, you know, uh, through speech therapy, etc. They have a one-year course for these, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's usually ladies, it, the gents are not uh, taken in for this uh, thing course. So Alhamdulillah, two volunteers, uh, they, they came forward and they have been, you know, uh, given this training and after a period of one year, they have been inducted in Al Amal school as uh, full-time teachers for these students. Uh, as you will appreciate, we need more and more skilled teachers like this to expand and to take in more students. We will need more people to volunteer, to come forward, and an address to sisters, a request to sisters, to spread this word around, that those uh, sisters who are ready to volunteer, who want to volunteer for this field, there is also a career for them. For, uh, not for all. We don't uh, recommend everybody to get into this. But it's basically a, a requirement, and those who feel that they fit in best you know, in this field, and who can contribute positively, you know, by participating, by volunteering, uh, we can uh, send them to this, uh, you know, Balavadhyalaya and uh, bring them back and have them as teachers in our school. This uh, process of sending teachers, getting them back, this one year scholarship uh, costs about one lakh rupees. You know, those brothers who are uh, you are interested in contributing for this cause also. It is a great opportunity for them to contribute in this cause. And last but not the least, that we need your support. More and more support, you know, uh, morally, financially, because to run this thing, 
we need a lot of funds. Uh, the current expense that we are bearing per student is three and a half thousand. Uh, and many of these uh, students, they are coming from a background where, where, they, are, where they are not able to, uh, you know, meet this requirement. They are not able to uh, support their kid financially uh, through zakat and through sadaqahs of many uh, brothers. We, we are able to, you know, manage things as of now, but we need more and more funds and more and more support from uh, brothers who can contribute in this cause. So this is pretty much it and uh, I thank you for listening to me patiently and uh, with a lot of attention. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, all the staff in Alamal uh, school, including, uh, you know, uh, Brother Ashad and Brother Zubair, the administrative staff, you know, who uh, take a lot of difficulty in communicating with the children, with the uh, parents, understanding their problems, providing solutions. Uh, I thank them all and may Allah reward you with the best in this world and the hereafter. So I hand it over to Brother Rashid. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair for the inspiration speech, uh, Sheikh. May Allah uh, make us easy from here. Alhamdulillah, we are into this. The real credit goes to the teachers who put their efforts from morning 9.30 to 3 o'clock, Sheikh. They sit with the children tiring. It is very difficult job to teach a child, to make them see Alhamdulillah, uh, our senior level 3 level students, to, after a rigorous training of uh, one year, they learn 70 words. But they learn the 70 words for their life. But the teaching that words initial is difficult. Teachers put a lot of efforts, put their voice, they have to raise their voice. Most of the time they get vocal abuse also. So I, I, I took this opportunity to thank these teachers for this real good efforts and continue the same. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, we have uh, uh, a small performance. Children are getting, uh, I think we've got a small performance from the kids. And uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to tell also. So kids are going to perform one song, uh, Sing Children of the World. and he guides us to the uh, qualified MSc and he said, Doctor, I would like to have a few words from you. 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Uh, well, first of all, praise be to Allah for all the نعمات uh, He has given to us, for all the gifts in the form of senses. Senses is one of the biggest gifts: hearing, seeing, taste, smell, and touch. Well, I whatever I tell is uh, is uh, very small, and with the efforts, with the amal, what. Arshad and his team are doing. My father used to keep telling me one uh, small uh, shayari, what I'm not so well versed in Urdu, but that keeps reminding me and that, that's been an inspiration for me. Uh, if you can correct me if I'm, I'm wrong in any of the words, he used to keep telling me, uh, keep telling me that amal se banti hai, zindagi banti hai, jannat bhi, jahannam bhi, ye khaki apni fitrat mein, so, Arshad has shown with his Amal what Arshad and his team, I will not tell Arshad alone, I will tell his team. An Amal team, they have done something and shown that they can do. And, and as uh, rightly told by Dr. Mishtaq Saab, who has always been inspiration for most of, uh, most of the Muslim doctors, the effort, the first step you take, the next step Allah makes you take automatically. You have to lift a leg up to take the first step and automatically the next steps come on their own. So we are having a mental block within ourselves that we can't do this thing and that thing. That puts us down emotionally, physically, academically. We just need to take out this mental block. Our block is to remove that block that this will not be in my hand, अगर वो निकालेंगे तो अपने आप जो है अपने ज़हन में हमको रह, रखना है कि अल्लाह ताला करने वाली जात है वो रास्ते खोलेगा हमारे लिए एक छोटा कदम लीजिए इस अमल वाले ग्रुप को कोई भी तरीके से उनको हेल्प करने के मैं ये नहीं कह रहा हूँ सब सब लोग को फाइनेंशियली हेल्प करना है कोई भी अतबार से उनको हेल्प करिए मोटिवेशनल या एकेडमिकली या उनको उनके इक्विपमेंट्स के اعتبار से या उनके फाइनेंस के اعتبار से जस्ट उनके पीछे रहिए उनको सपोर्ट करिए अल्लाह से दुआ है दिस विल बी अ लैंडमार्क अमंग ए पूरे जो हियरिंग रिहैबिलिटेशन बोलते हैं वो इंस्टीट्यूट्स में इंशाल्लाह इंशाल्लाह दिस विल बी अ लैंडमार्क इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर द होल वर्ल्ड इंशाल्लाह इंशाल्लाह सलाम वालेकुम डॉक्टर आई हैव वन क्वेश्चन फॉर यू डॉक्टर डॉक्टर वाज मेंशनिंग अबाउट कॉकलियर इंप्लांट्स Inshallah, can we make a team in this situation like doctor, all dignitaries, all doctors are here. Make a team like uh, we have our own team as a permanent ENT doctor, you doctor, Mustak doctor, to have a cochlear implant program to start from our community and get the benefit to the kids whom we can feel like they can't get benefit out of hearing aids. Well, cochlear implant is, Alhamdulillah, a boon to the newborn and the individual. A cochlear implant is a machine. That machine, which is the hearing aid fit, is the chand level of hearing loss that the hearing aid will work. After that, the hearing aid will be fit in the machine. The machine 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 will be fit वो जो वो कंप्यूटर चिप जो हम इंप्लांट करते हैं अंदर वो वायर्स जो है डायरेक्ट नस को स्टिमुलेट करते हैं ये लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी जो है पूरी दुनिया में आके 10-15 साल हो गए अब इंडिया में अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह चार पांच साल से काफी पिकअप हुआ है और हमारे हिंदुस्तान में काफी स्टेट्स में गवर्नमेंट स्पॉन्सर्ड है जो कॉक्टर इम्प्लांट है इसलिए कि इसका जो कॉस्ट है तकरीबन बारह तेरह लाख होता है एक इम्प्लांट फिटिंग का इम्प्लांट जो है तकरीबन सात आठ लाख का रहता है और उसका जो सर्जरी उसका जो रिहैबिलिटेशन रहता है वो एडिशनल चार पाँच लाख रहता है तो अल्लाह से उम्मीद है कि इन इंडिया में खुद हमारे जो प्रेसिडेंट थे अब्दुल कलाम साहब उन उन्होंने एक इनिशिएटिव लिया था कि ये प्रोग्राम जो है इंडिजिनस इम्प्लांट बोलते हैं एक लाख के अंदर वो इम्प्लांट बनने का बट वो प्रोग्राम अभी भी प्रोसेस में है इन हो जाएगा बस ये प्रोग्राम जो है जरूरत है इट इज द नीड ऑफ द आवर वो जरूरत है बहुत जरूरत है ये टीम के लिए जो है हमारा सर्जरी पार्ट जो है सिर्फ एक परसेंट है हम सिर्फ मशीन बिठाते हैं अंदर लेकिन पूरी मेहनत इन लोगों की रहती है 
मोर देन नाइन्टी परसेंट जो मेहनत कर रहे हैं इनको बच्चे को ट्रेन कर रहे हैं ये एक टीम वर्क है एक आदमी से नहीं होएगा इसके लिए एक बड़ा सा टीम बनाना पड़ेगा साइकोलॉजिस्ट रहना है पीडियाट्रिक पीडियाट्रिशियन रहना है बच्चों के डॉक्टर रहना है रेडियोलॉजिस्ट स्पीच थेरेपिस्ट ये पूरा टीम इनशाला हम छोटे एतबार से तो हम जुड़े हुए हैं इनशाला हमारी सोच भी बड़ी करके हम टीम को थोड़ा और बढ़ाना पड़ेगा और इन अल्लाह से उम्मीद है कि इन हम जरूर इन हमारे सेंटर में और मुश्ताक साहब जो बताया कॉकलर इम्प्लान्टशन शुरू करेंगे इन और इसके लिए जो है बस एक ट्रेनिंग की ज़रूरत है जो इन शहमदिल्ला चल रही है हमारे ई एन टी सर्जेंस में तो हाल ही में एक लास्ट दो हफ्ते पहले एक बेंगलोर में पूरे इंडिया से कॉकलर इम्प्लान्टशन का एक ट्रेनिंग वर्कशॉप हुआ जिसमें अलहमदिल्ला हम भी हिस्सा लिए जहाँ पे हम वी आर वी आर पार्ट ऑफ द मॉडरेशन जहाँ पे कॉकलर इम्प्लान्टशन चल रहा है हम एक हिस्सा थे उसमें तो एक्सपोजर तो है अलहमद लाला काफ़ी डॉक्टर्स को मुसलमान डॉक्टर्स में या जो भी यू एंटी सर्जन्स ले रहे हैं ये जो इम्प्लान्टशन की जो जो मशीन बिठाने के ट्रेनिंग का बस एक टीम वर्क सबकी दुआ चाहिए ये टीम को मुकम्मल तौर पर अल्लाह ताली इसको कबूल करें और हम इस टीम को शुरू करें जैसे अरशद ने बताया कि वी इट इज़ नॉट फार अवे इन हम कोशिश करेंगे शुरुआत तो जरूर करना पड़ेगा हमको इन विल टेक अप द इशू एंड विल स्टार्ट ऑफ इन शाहिटी I like to take one more opportunity here. Uh, we did last year a foundation from Starkey Hearing Foundation. Alhamdulillah, with the uh, this is guy by name Bill Austin, he has flown all the way from US. He has distributed around 2,200 hearing aids across Karnataka. In my survey, I could find out uh, we got around 350 Muslim students got benefited out of this. They got beautiful two pairs of hearing aid with one year of battery across Karnataka. So I like to thank uh, the regional manager of Starkey with his team. He has come down. Uh, if you can wave your hand, Mr. Rakhil Chauhan is standing in the back. And Alhamdulillah, he has been a, a good support for the people, and uh, it's a big charity. Alhamdulillah, uh, they are doing, and uh, he has been inspiration with his team, and our team also in hearing healthcare training training. Just wave your hands. They have been a supportive part of the audiologists and all these things. They are present here to support the case. So I call upon Sheikh Tariq Madni of Islam to face face an inspirational talk about this gathering. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا. من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلا هادي له. وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له. وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا. أما بعد مجلس حاضرين إخواتنا الإسلام الحمد لله هم إيك بدي بهترين برنامج من شامل هن. سبحانه وتعالى من الله تعالى كشكر غزار هم. بعد ذلك بعد CIS أو الأمل كي تيم كا جنوبي الحمد لله إيك قابل قدر خدمة إس أمة كهف من بيش كي هي. میں اس موقع پر یہ بتانا چاہتا ہوں کہ اللہ تعالی جس چیز کو جیسے پیدا کرتا ہے وہ کسی حکمت سے خالی نہیں ہوتا اللہ کا ہر کام اللہ کا ہر عمل بڑا حکمت بھرا ہوتا ہے یخلق ما یشا وہو العلیم القدیر وہ جو چاہتا ہے پیدا کرتا ہے وہ ہر چیز کا علم رکھتا ہے اسے پوری پوری قدرت ہے اب اس معاشرے میں ہم نظر ڈالیں تو ہر مخموخ ایک لیول کی ہر انسان ایک لیول کا چاہے بدنی طور پہ چاہے مالی طور پہ چاہے دینی اعتبار سے ایک لیول کے کوئی دکھائی نہیں دیتے یہ اللہ کی حکمت ہے اللہ مکمل قادر ہے اگر اللہ چاہتا تو سب کو ایک جیسا بناتا لیکن جیسے اللہ نے کہا وَجَعَلْنَا بَعْضَكُمْ لِبَعْضًا فِتْنَا کہ ہم نے تم میں سے بعض کو بعض کے لئے آزمائش بنایا ہے تو ہمارے درمیان 
कई ऐसे बंदे नजर आते हैं जो मुख्तलिफ एतबार से चाहे बिनाई के एतबार से चाहे बोलने सुनने के एतबार से चाहे चलने फिरने के एतबार से चाहे किसी और एतबार से क्यों ना हो वो किसी ना किसी जगह बाज लोग उसमें कमजोर या आयबदार नजर आते हैं ये अल्लाह की हमत है ये अल्लाह की मर्जी है ये अल्लाह के फैसले हैं और उसके फैसलों से कभी इंसाफ खाली नहीं होता और आमतौर पर ऐसे लोगों को डिसेबल्ड मेंटली चैलेंज या फिर किसी भी किस्म की डिसेबिलिटी आमतौर पर इनके अंदर हुआ करती है और नमा ने इसको लिखा है कि जब अल्लाह ताला ने हमारे इस माशरे में इन लोगों को पैदा किया तो यकीनन ये लोग हमारे माशरे में जिंदगी गुजारने के काबिल हैं एक अंधा आदमी एक गूंगा बहरा शख्स एक लंगड़ा शख्स हर वो जिसके अंदर कोई ना कोई आए वो हमारे इस माशरे में बदर जय अतम बेहतरीन तरीके से जिंदगी गुजार सकता है लेकिन हम गलती से ये समझते हैं कि वो लोग डिसेबल्ड हैं ये समझते हैं कि उनके अंदर नक्स है अलमा ने यह लिखा कि उन तक पहुंचने में हम नाकिस हैं उन तक पहुंचने में हम डिसेबल्ड हैं हम नहीं पहुंच पा रहे हैं हम उनकी जरूरतों को पूरा नहीं कर पा रहे ये हमारी डिसेबिलिटी है ये आ, हमारी कमी है ये हमारा नक्स है वरना अगर अल्लाह ताला चाहता तो ऐसे लोगों को हमारे दरमियान पैदा ना करता अल्लाह की पूरी हिकमत है अल्लाह के फैसले अटल हैं अल्लाह के फैसले इंसाफ से भरे हैं कि अल्लाह तला ने ऐसे लोगों को हमारे दरमियान पैदा किया कि हम उन तक पहुंच सकें इसकी मिसाल मैं आपको दे दूं दूसरे करीम एक मरतबा कुफार कुरैश के बड़े बड़े सरदार बैठे हुए हैं उन्हें बैठ करके कुछ नसीहतें कर रहे हैं उन्हें कुछ समझा रहे हैं इस उम्मीद में कि शायद लोग इस्लाम ला लें शायद लोग हिदायत पा लें शायद लोगों को हक पता चल जाए इतने में एक डिसेबल साहबी नाबीना साहबी रजी अल्लाह अब्दुल्लाह इब्न उम्म मकतूम रजी अल्लाह हो उन्हें नहीं पता देख नहीं पाते सीधे अल्लाह के नबी के दरबार में आ गए कहने लगे या रसूल अल्लाह 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 ने जो आपको सिखाया मुझे कुछ सिखा दीजिए अल्लाह के नबी मशगूल है मसरूफ है नबी करीम सलाम दावत में मशगूल है अचानक के सहाबी आ गए नबी करीम सलाम को थोड़ी देर के लिए तकलीफ हुई आपके चेहरे पर नापसंदीदगी के आसार आ गए आपके चेहरे पर थोड़ा सा तुर्श रवि आ गई सिर्फ नबी करीम सलाम के चेहरे के इस एक्सप्रेशन को देख करके अल्लाह तला ने सुर अबस नाजिल कर दी कि ए नबी आपके लिए एक भी जैब नहीं देता कि एक अंधे साहबी आपके पास मेरे अहकाम की जानकारी के लिए आए आप उनसे मुंह मोड़ करके उन काफिलों के पीछे पड़े रहे कि शायद के लोग हिदायत पा जाए तो अल्लाह तला ने यहां पर उन सहाबी को वजह बना करके उनकी बुनियाद पर अपने सबसे खलील मोहम्मद मुस्तफा सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम पर तमबीह की सरजनिश की कि आपको यह रवैया अपनाना नहीं चाहिए जो तो जो लोग डिजेबल्ड होते हैं या जो लोग अल्लाह ताला की तकदीर से किसी आजमाइश में उबतला होते हैं वो दर हकीकत हम सब के लिए आजमाइश है उसमें हमारा एग्जाम है उसमें हमारा इम्तहान है कि हम कहां तक उनकी कदरदारी कर पाते हम कहां तक उनकी जरूरतों को पूरा कर पाएंगे अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह इस्लाम ने पूरा ख्याल रखा कुरान की आयतों को देखें दो तीन आयतें मैं आपके सामने रख दूं अल्लाह ताला ने जब जंग के अहकाम बयान किए तो अल्लाह तला ने सुर तोबा में यह बात कह दी कि वो लोग जो बीमार हैं वो लोग जो कमजोर हैं वो लोग जो अपने पास पैसा नहीं पाते वो लोग जिनके पास सलाहियतें नहीं हैं अगर वो लोग जंग में ना आ सके तो उन्हें उन पर कोई हरज नहीं है उन पर कोई हरज की बात नहीं है उनका कोई मुआवजा नहीं होगा इसी तरीके से एक और जगह रबाल ने कहा लई साल हरज वरज हरज वरीज हरज के किसी बीमार पर कोई हरज नहीं है किसी अंधे पर कोई हरज नहीं है किसी लगड़े लूने पर कोई हरज नहीं है अगर वो जंगों में हाजिर न दे पाए अल्लाह ताला उनका ख्याल रखता है अल्लाह ताला उम्मत मुसलिमा को तालीम देता है कि उनकी जरूरतों का ख्याल किया जाए तो इसी तरीके से जब इस कस्म के लोग हमारे दरमियान पाए जाएं और कोई मौका हमें नसीब हो कि हम उनको एजुकेट कर पाए 
हम उनको आ, किसी फील्ड में मदद कर पाए या हम उनकी कोई नुसरत ये हमारी खुशकिस्मती होगी ये हमारी खुशकिस्मती होगी कि हम उनकी कोई मदद कर पाएंगे ये दरअसल उनकी अपनी मदद नहीं है हमारी अपनी मदद है एक अंधे सहाबी से चेहरा मोड़ने पर या चेहरे पर बल लाने पर अल्लाह ताला ने अपने सबसे प्यारे नबी मोहम्मद रसूलुल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम को नहीं छोड़ा तो जब हमारे पास कोई जरूरत पेश हमारे पास कोई आ जाए हमारे पास उनकी कोई जरूरत आ जाए हम उससे मुंह मोड़ के रह जाए ये किसी सूरत हमें जेब नहीं देता ये किसी सूरत हमें जेब नहीं देता तो इस एतबार से हम लोग ये जितने भी इस किस्म के लोग हमारे माशरे में पाए जाते हैं ये हमारी अपनी जिम्मेदारी है ये हमारी अपनी जिम्मेदारी है और खसूस ये जबान जिसके जरिए इंसान अपने माफी जमीर को अदा कर सकता है अपने दिल की बात सामने रख सकता है अल्लाह तला ने इसको बतौर एहसान गिनाया सुर रहमान उठा लें सुर रहमान में अल्लाह तला ने तकरीबन तीस से ज्यादा मरतबा कहा फबी आला तो जिबान कि तुम अल्लाह की किस किस नियमतों को झूठ लाओगे अल्लाह की कौन सी कौन सी नियमत का तुम इनकार करोगे और अल्लाह तला ने जब इस सूरत की इब्तदा की कहा अरहमान अल्लामान खलक अल इंसान अल्लाम इंसान की पैदाइश के बाद अल्लाह ने उस पर सबसे पहली नमत का जो तस्करा किया बयान जबान से वो बयान कर सकता है जबान से अपने दिल की बात को लाके रख सकता है अल्लामा बयान अल्लाह ने उसे बयान सिखाया अल्लाह ने उसे अपने माफी जमीर के अदा करने का तरीका सिखाया यह अल्लाह का एहसान है अल्लाह का फजल है अल्लाह का करम है उन लोगों पर जिन्हें अल्लाह ने जबान दी हम आप पर अल्लाह का करम है हम आप पर अल्लाह का फजल है कि अल्लाह ने हमें जबान दी जिसके जरिए अपने माफी जमीर को अदा कर पाए ये अल्लाह की नमतों में से एक नमत है फिर आला रब जबान अल्लाह की किस किस नमत को हम छुट लाएंगे अल्लाह की किस किस नमत का हम गलत इस्तेमाल करेंगे तो मजदरीन इस्लाम ने और इस्लामी तारीख में अगर देखें तो अलहमद ला उम्मत इस्लामिया ने इन लोगों का बड़ा ख्याल रखा जैसे मिसाल के तौर पर उमर बिन अब्दुल अजीज रहा से मुतल आता है कि इन्होंने अपने दौर खिलाफत में जो पहली सदी के आखिरी दौर में आए हुए थे उन्होंने अपने दौर खिलाफत में इस बात का एहसाइया करवाया गिनती करवाई कि कितने लोग ऐसे हैं जिनके अंदर कोई ना कोई आयब है उनका शुमार किया जाए उनके लिए खसूसी इंतजाम किए जाए और इसी तरीके से वलीद इबन अब्दुल मलिक ने इस किस्म के लोगों के लिए हॉस्पिटल्स बनवाए थे इस किस्म के लोगों के लिए तकरीबन अट्ठासी हिजरी आज से तेरह सौ साल से जायद चौदह सौ साल के करीब करीब अगर पीछे हम देखें साढ़े तेरह सौ साल तक तो उन्होंने वहां पर एक हॉस्पिटल बनवाए इस किस्म के लोगों के लिए और इसी तरीके से इसहाबन खबीर साहब जब इनके हाथ में हुकूमत आई तो इन्होंने हर उस घर में जिस घर में कोई डिसेबल्ड हो जिस घर में कोई इस किस्म का आय वाला बच्चा हो उस पर कुछ बैतुल माल से माल जारी करवाया और कहने लगे कि मैं इतना माल इन लोगों को दूंगा कि वो लोग जिनके घर में कोई इस किस्म का बच्चा पैदा हो जाए तो वो लोग उनके मुकाबले ज्यादा खुश हो जिसके यहां सेहतमंद बच्चा पैदा हो जाए इतना उन्होंने उनको दिया था तो अलहमद ला ये चीज उम्मत इस्लामिया ने इसका शुरू से ही इदराक किया उम्मत इस्लामिया से पहले की जिंदगी को उससे पहले के माहौल को देखें तो उस जमाने में जर्मनी को लें या इसी तरीके से रूस को लें या फिर जितने भी उस वक्त सुपर पावर्स थे उनको लें तो उन लोगों ने इसको एक मुसीबत समझा उन लोगों ने मुआरे से नौ खत्म करना चाहा लेकिन इस्लाम ने उनको एक मकाम दिया इस्लाम ने उनको एक मरतबा दिया नबी करीम सलाम अगर अपना किसी को मुआजन मनाते हैं तो उसमें से एक अंधे मुआजिन है अब्दुल्लाह मकतूम रजी अल्लाह इनका मुआरे में हिस्सा है इनका मुआरे में हिस्सा है हम लोगों ने इनको नजरअंदाज कर दिया हम लोगों ने इनसे आंखें बंद कर ली हम डिसेबल्ड हो चुके हैं नबी करीम सलाम जब कहीं जंग के लिए मदीना छोड़कर बाहर जाते अब्दुल्ला मकतूम रजी अल्लाह को अपना नायब बनाकर जाते अपना खलीफा बनाकर जाते ये मकाम था जो नबी करीम सलाम ने इस किस्म के लोगों को अता किया था तो इसी तरीके से हमें चाहिए कि हम अपने इस माशरे को समझें अपने इस माशरे में जो लोग हाजतमंद हैं उनकी हाजतों को समझें आगे बढ़ें उनकी खिदमत करें ये फितना हमारे लिए है ये आजमाइश हमारे लिए है इस आजमाइश में हम लोग खड़े उतरे और इमाम फखरुद्दीन राजी ने इस पर एक किताब लिखी दराजा तो फकदम कि अगर कोई आदमी उसके उसकी जो सुनने की सलाहियत होती है अगर वो खो जाता है तो उसके क्या लेवल्स हैं 
اس کے لیولز امام رازی نے اپنے زمانے میں آج سے بارہ سے تیرہ سو سال پہلے لکھ دیئے تھے الحمدللہ اسلام نے مسلمانوں نے ہمارے اپنے مسلمان صلف صالحین نے اس کا پورا خیال رکھا آج کل اس کی کمی ہو رہی ہے الحمدللہ قابل مبارک بات ہے سی آئی ایس قابل مبارک بات ہے العمل اور اسی طریقے سے جو بھی لوگ ہیں اپنی اپنی فیل میں اپنے اپنے میدان میں جس قسم کی خدمت میں لگے ہوئے ہیں اللہ تعالیٰ ان کی کوششوں کو قبول فرمائے اور اللہ تعالیٰ ان کی کوششوں میں اخلاص نصیب فرمائے اور اللہ تعالیٰ ان کی کوششوں کو ان کی نجات کا ذریعہ بنائے اخیر میں یہ حدیث یاد رکھ لیں اللہ کے نبی علیہ السلام نے کہا تھا وَحَلْ تُنصَرُونَ وَتُرْزَقُونَ إِلَّا بِذُعَفَائِكُمْ وَحَلْ تُنصَرُونَ وَتُرْزَقُونَ إِلَّا بِذُعَفَائِكُمْ یاد رکھیں تمہارے معاشرے میں جتنے کمزور لوگ جتنے عائب والے لوگ پائے جاتے ہیں جتنے ڈیسیبلڈ پائے جاتے ہیں تو انہی لوگوں کے ذریعے انہی لوگوں کی وجہ سے اللہ تعالیٰ تمہیں مدد بھی کرتا ہے انہی لوگوں کی بنیاد پر اللہ تعالیٰ تمہیں رزق بھی دیتا ہے تو ہمیں رزق ملتا ہے ان کی وجہ سے ہمیں عددیں ملتی ہیں ان کی وجہ سے تو ہمیں چاہیے کہ ہم ان کا پورا پورا خیال رکھیں اللہ تعالیٰ سے دعا ہے کہ اللہ تعالیٰ ہمیں اپنے مقام کو اپنی موقع کو اور اسی طریقے سے اپنی حقیقت کو پہچاننے کی توفیق نصیب فرمائے اور ہمیں اپنے صلف صالحین سے جو کہ کامیابی کا راز ہیں قرآن و سنت پر چلنے کا سب سے واحد اور سب سے بہترین طریقہ ہے صلف صالحین کے منحج کو اپنانے کی توفیق نصیب فرمائے اقول قول حاضا و استغفر اللہ علی ولکم و لسائل المسلمین من کل من فاستغفروہ انہو الغفر الرحیم و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد و آلہ و صحبہ ازمائین I'd like to invite Brother uh, Ashraf Bhai to come down and give some prizes to the kids here. So we have some uh, recognition for the kids. The first prize goes to proficiency prizes. First prize goes to Abdul Khaliq and Aditya. What do you say? Thank you. So it's thank you. So Aditya and Abdul Khaliq. So second place goes to Furkhan. you can make out that he's trying to come this side. See, what's your name? Omar. Or you can say Omar hastily. Regularity goes to Abdul Khaliq and Omar. As I was mentioning, her mother is very particular. Uh, Abdul Khaliq, we want our parents uh, the, so the both parents are hearing impaired. This is called soda. Children of deaf adults. So mother is so much concerned. I feel so nice to see mother coming in the right time, neatly dressed up. That kid so neatly. I've only never seen that kid anytime go down on time. And he's at another so mashallahs at par. See. Um, Thank you. Um, What's your name? Uh, 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 uh,
خالق ہی سے بردر یوسف ایز ریسائڈ اینڈ مینی آف یور مسٹیک کم یو واٹس یور نیم sitting with full interest he took some notes and he learned and he bahaited surah fatiha which he was not knowing earlier and he, uh, similarly he learned surah class and other surah so that at least uh, we have these kids like this adults kids who has been deprived of for this and shall send them to our uh, our boys at least we can teach them the basic surahs to perform the salah for his recognition and for his effort for learning this in one week we want to give a small moment to him to call for khan on the stage uh, he is also going to a normal school he, this is the example of a integration wherein being a hearing impaired uh, with his hearing aids on he is performed he can't hear 90% and is competing with his peer group in his schools he is going to a normal school that's what the integration can make so for his uh, efforts every time this is our our poster boy we take him for every function we call him they come down all the way he started from sera for this function so for his effort we like to give a small moment to brother zubair can hand over this to him really what's your name my name is burhan talha which school you are studying chicha kamin tanner what what i ask which school you are studying Seven Tanner and Jam School. Jam School. Seven Tanner Jam School. What's your mother's name? Mm. China. China. She is no good on stage fear. You know, I lost first mother, father's name. That's why he's uh, he's getting confused. That's why I asked, wanted my mother's name first. I don't know why he able to say this properly. So this is what his confidence is all about. When he can walk in, he can without hearing. Imagine he's hearing 90% loss. He's just hearing with the help of his hearing aids, whatever I'm talking, and he's responding. I'm going to laugh at him. Let's do for this boy and this all this kind of this boy to achieve better success in their life. This is the last year. I'd like to invite uh, Brother Shakir to the vote of thanks. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, Uh, first of all i would like to thank allah subhanahu wa taala for making this uh, function successful and as per the hadith where in messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said that those who don't thank the people has not actually thanked allah so individually i would like to thank each and everybody who have participated in today's function and given support for such a noble cause and uh, before i conclude I would like to mention a special thanks to Dr. Mustaq Ahmed for giving a very good advice, uh, uh, which is uh, very beneficial for this cause. Especially his suggestion regarding uh, uh, why don't we form a company so as to make uh, the hearing aids maybe at one tenth of the cost of what uh, the foreign uh, hearing aids are available i think we need to seriously think about it and do something inshallah on this uh, aspect and as, and other things which he mentioned about uh, restricting oneself to one's own expertise and specialization and uh, it is very uh, clear that uh, there is one uh, i don't know whether it's an ayah of the quran wali kulli fadlir rijal that for every person is uh, his expertise so let us have our own specialization and expertise and join together so that the net result is something better and something excellent 
So Jazakallah Khair for uh, coming for this function, Dr. Saab, and giving suggestions. And we expect your cooperation and uh, involvement in this cause. And as uh, it has rightly been told, that this uh, initiative which has been taken by uh, CIS and Alaman is just a beginning and it is a very big responsibility. And without any other things, let us all join together and uh, support this cause. And the other uh, personality which I would like to mention uh, is about uh, uh, Dr. Masharat Nadeem uh, for uh, Alhamdulillah coming forward on the suggestion which was given for forming a team on working for cochlear implantation. And I think something seriously should be done in this aspect. A lot of funds are available in government and schemes. So let us seriously do something on this. And Jadakallah Khair, uh, Dr. Saab, for coming for this function and supporting and giving encouragement for us for this cause. And uh, especially not missing uh, Muskan and its team uh, and Milk Management uh, Group and Abdur Rashid Saab and uh, Janab uh, Salam Shri Saab. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Rashid Khan sir. they have always uh, uh, interacted with us and Alhamdulillah we are trying how best we can cooperate with them in this regard and I would like to once again I think it has been already mentioned to them we have a project of having an audio uh, audiometry van mobile van wherein uh, this van will be equipped with a lot of instruments and systems hearing uh, uh, testing aids and all that our aim was to have this van functional so that we can go in different parts of bangalore all around and those areas where people don't have any access to testing so that we can identify the deaf uh, uh, people children and uh, help them so uh, we would like to request uh, Millet Management Society to look into this project and see how best together we can implement this project in future, inshallah. And Jazakallah Khair for your support and help. And uh, after that, I would like to thank uh, uh, Sheikh Tariq Manmi for inspiring us and giving the guidance in the light of the Quran and Sunnah as per the Surf of Salihin, especially the incident wherein the Prophet wasallam just moved away from the uh, blind person and similarly when, when Sheikh was mentioning this thing it just came to our mind when some deaf brothers they walked into our office in uh, Cooktown uh, in, uh, in CIS some five six years back and they just started speaking to us and telling us okay this is their need so alhamdulillah it was an initiative it was something which made us uh, uh, awake from our slumber or whatever it is and alhamdulillah we tried our best but in future it is not the just a responsibility of CIS but the whole ummah so we would request everybody to come forward and join hands and support this cause and we and uh, on behalf of CIS and Alamal we thank the staff the faculty the management of Starkey and the management of the staff of uh, uh, hearing impaired clinic uh, uh, for their involvement and our students which are like seven students now who are studying we have two non-muslim children also so irrespective of uh, caste and religion this uh, uh, this uh, school we will inshallah try to help all the children who are in need so it is not as only exclusively for the muslims but irrespective of the uh, religion and caste uh, the services of alaman will be there and inshallah in future we would like to expect the same from everybody we thank all the parents the children the mothers and the staff and everybody who have come and the management of this uh, uh, and Rabita Education Society for, for coming for this function and supporting uh, by their involvement. Jazakumullah khair for everybody. And at the end, I would like to uh, pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts all these efforts and uh, help us in future. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Ashadullah ila wa antasuk for kawantu bula. Let's give some kids to teach us. Uh, the Shagira requested to just give two moments to the teachers for their efforts. Without this, this program will be not the same. So I call upon the teacher, this is a sister Nina, who is a senior, doing this function and organizing, putting all our efforts. I, I call upon sister Hina to come and collect her memento. Dr. Shakir. <laughs> 
Amen. And we call upon Sister Hasina to come and collect her moment of our efforts. Okay, we've got the staff also, the Sony staff will do later.